think I got a shot. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm here in Roxborough State Park, about 45 minutes south of Denver today. It's about 30 minutes from my home, uh, which is kind of nice. I, I've been in this area before, although I wasn't completely aware this park existed and and these formations existed. Um, what you're seeing behind me, and maybe you can see, maybe you can. I'll put some a screen, something on the screen for you. Are these 300 million year old uh, sandstone structures coming out of the ground? Um, they make for a really cool. Uh, kind of landscape area um, so I thought I'd come give it a shot and uh, see what I could do as far as the photo goes and um, for those of you who don't know uh, I am a Nikon shooter um, I shoot with a Z6 and I film with a Z50 so I I'm all Nikon all the way um, the the new uh, Z system uh, requires an FTZ mount to use the F mount lenses you have and I being the completely prepared person that I am, left my FTZ mount back in uh, in my office. Therefore, uh, I do not have my 70 to 200, which was the main reason I came out here, um, was to get this vista right from this spot where I'm standing right now. So I pulled my bag out. Uh, I looked for it. I'm like, how could you forget that? I, I tore my bag apart. I don't have it with me. So anyway. I got my phone. I took a couple snaps with the phone, so that was kind of fun. Um, but uh, I'm going to pack up real quick. I just kind of want to come on and, and get you guys kind of situated where we're at, what we're doing. And uh, I'm going to go hustle now to the other side of the park. You know, it's three. It's 3.50 right now. I've got about an hour and 50 minutes until sundown. Um, there's a lot of clouds in the sky, so, you know, it doesn't look like it might be too bad. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, but I'm in the wrong place right now to be able to do that. So I'm going to hustle over to the other side of the 4,000 square acre park and uh, see if I can get something with the wide angle lens. It's not too far actually. I'm on the, I'm on the back side of the, the south rim loop, so it shouldn't take me too far. I mean, I can literally see where I want to be from here. It's about a mile away, so it should take me to only get over there. But uh, I will see you um, back on that side of the park. So I'm on my way back, I'm almost there, and I found this composition here, which I want to get set up for. It's the first large sandstone coming out of the ground, I'll give you a good idea of what I'm talking about. I'm behind this kind of hill, um, 
which I'd like to use some actual shallow depth of field on this hill. I'm going to catch that tree, although it's kind of gray, and that rocks in the background and see how that looks, see how it comes out. That might not be horrible. It's definitely going to be a black and white for right now. There's some sun coming on that side, and I'm wondering if it's going to hit the tip of that. That sandstone there. That'd be kind of cool. This is kind of what I'm looking at. I'm sitting about six feet below, maybe five feet below the path, looking out onto the tree and the sandstone, kind of in the top right frame. Well, yeah, top right. Just a little left of the rule of thirds, but not quite in the center. So, and I like how this weed kind of, you know, kind of points up towards that, and then, I mean, I wish there was more in the tree, but there really isn't, so it maybe kind of get lost. We'll have to see, but I'm going to grab the shot, and uh, uh, we can take a look at that right here, good or bad. That's going to do it for today. Uh, not quite the video I wanted to make. Uh, I do want to come out here with the long lens. My bad for forgetting the adapter. Um, just means that I can come out again and uh, bring you guys along with me with the adapter and the 70 to 200 because I think um, they would have been some better shots, especially as the sun was kind of going down. There was some light that was hitting the tips of these uh, sandstones, which would have been really cool. My bad. Uh, you know, I'll work on it next time. But the other reason I want to come out too was to. Uh, to put my new, you know, my new tripod and my new head through the paces. Um, this is a, a, you know, Colorado uh, tripod company. Uh, their carbon fiber tripod and the uh, the small Aspen ball head, um, which basically I got for Christmas, and uh, I want to give those a, a shot. They are, you know, so much lighter than my than my Manfrotto, uh, which I carry when I travel. Uh, and uh, it's just been, it was getting too much, too, too much of a, of a weight restriction for me. So um, there were some times where I was using the, the Peak, uh, Peak Design Travel, which is what the camera, the Z50 is on right now that you're, that you're um, filming this on, that I'm filming this on. Um, I will be traveling for the next, you know, three weeks. I will be heading to Michigan next week. Um, last time I was in Michigan, I tried to get out to uh, Gratio Lighthouse. I think that's how you say it, Gratio. Lighthouse. Um, I was there and uh, um, just struggled with compositions. Um, I did see um, James from Vintage Illumination had a video up just after I came back from there in that same lighthouse and so uh, I did like what he was doing there and I may 
you know, borrow some of his composition ideas when I go back out there, if I make it back to the lighthouse. Um, I do want to try and get out there again. You know, you know, time will tell. It depends on how my schedule goes. Two weeks from now, I'll be in, I'll be in uh, Florida for a week. I'll be there in, in visiting Sarasota and Tampa Bay. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to take a day and, and get out and, and take the camera out with me. And after that, I'll be in Cincinnati. So maybe there's a chance to get back to Horseshoe Falls. Uh, that was actually pretty close to where I was in Cincinnati. Um, so that will be kind of a goal of mine. See if I can get back there, at least to that lake. Um, you know, the lake I thought had some had some potential for uh, for some compositions there and for for some good photos. You know, I'd love to see some snow there. That would make it kind of even you know even better. Um, so hopefully that'll work out towards another month. So. You know, that's my next three weeks is is back on the road um, I don't know when I'll get back out here I, I hope I can come back here in February um, and uh, and bring the long lens again this time and you know you know not be such a knucklehead and forget what I'm basically coming out here for um, but you know I'm still a noob so I um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, if you wouldn't mind, like like the video and, and hit subscribe if, if you kind of enjoy this content. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully from Michigan.